cast your mind back just just a little while and uh, you remember Chris Grayley getting a fair bit of criticism for awarding a freight company that had no freights an almost 14 million pound contract well if you go back and you listen to what he said in his defense it was a fairly wide range he kept saying that he had fully vetted the company he kept saying that if they don't perform and hold up their end of the deal well then they don't get a penny so it's absolutely fine and even attacked labor saying well clearly they don't believe in small businesses because they're so opposed to this one whereas the fair criticism that everyone else was giving was the people who know about this stuff say that seaborne freights do not have any freights and that they can't get hold of any freights before brexit why the hell did you give any kind of contract to this company and then they did a little bit of digging and found out that the head of seaborne freights are con men and then just a few days ago we find out that uh, Seaborne Freight made all these promises based on a half-hearted conversation that they had with an actual freight company who said that they might be interested in, in going along with this. Not committing to give them any freights, nothing was signed, they simply said they were interested at the possibility of doing business with them. Of course Chris Grayling and all the other incompetent buffoons kept pushing this forward and the third party realized yeah no this, this isn't going to be possible so they backed out which they were completely able to do as it was just merely saying yeah we might be interested but Chris Grayling is an unbelievably incompetent man and yet he still promoted the idea well of course it's a great deal because even if they don't perform, even if Seaborne Freight don't perform the end of their bargain, we won't lose anything. Not true. Chris Grayling, while he's not given Seaborne Freight the almost £14 million contract, he has had to pay over £800,000 just to consultants to talk with Seaborne Freight. Eight hundred thousand pounds. Now, regardless of where you stand, Brexit is one of the most, if not the most, important things that this country is going to go through. And it will affect every single one of us in every single aspect of our lives, whether you realise it or not. Transport is a huge issue. We need more freights we need more custom docks we need more custom agents something that chris grayling has refused to do because he is so incompetent and yet he is just pissed away eight hundred thousand pounds the average teacher earns less than 25 grand a year same for police same for fire and rescue and yet the government keeps cutting funding to education because they haven't got that kind of money. Yet they have just wasted £800,000 on a company that from the get-go did not have the resources to do what the government needs it to do. Any other job in the world, Chris Grayling would have got the sack years ago. But for some reason, if you work in government, this level of incompetence is rewarded.